Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party figure review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the Toys Era Cyclops Tech. AKA of course Cyclops from X-Men Dark Phoenix and the end of X-Men Apocalypse. This figure comes with outfits to recreate both looks. Either way if you do want to pick up your very own Cyclops he is in stock right now with ToysWonderland.com and the link for that is down in the description below. They currently are having their 5% off store wide Christmas sale so definitely go ahead and take advantage of that while it's ongoing. There's no coupon codes, no discounts, nothing like that. It's automatically applied at checkout. Either way, what we're going to do now is get all of Cyclops' accessories out here and take a look at everything he comes with. And here we have all of Cyclops' accessories. Now, as you can see, he doesn't come with a bunch of stuff and you're probably thinking, Justin, what on earth would you have rather give him? Well, I would have appreciated, first of all, a second head sculpt. The head sculpt that he comes with has a visor on the front. I would have liked a head sculpt with sunglasses or potentially a more updated visor to match the appearance of Dark Phoenix because the one he comes with doesn't actually match that. It more matches the look from the end of X-Men Apocalypse, but we'll touch on that more when we get the figure himself out here. Either way, let's take a look at the display base. As you can see, it's got that Danger Room style flooring. It looks like there's a plastic film over the top, but it's not. That's just the sticker. You can feel the texture of the tiles, which I do appreciate. However, it does have a little bit of bubbling, which is uh, ever so slightly frustrating. However, you can get over it. In practice, this works perfectly fine. You can also remove the Toys Era nameplate. There's a magnet on the back there. It is, however, very, very weak, so you do have to be careful when attaching it this piece will go flying, much like some of the older Hot Toys pieces. It is metal, it does say Toys here on the front, but that is something that I am definitely not going to be using. I think it looks perfectly serviceable just like that. Now let's take a look at the second outfit. He comes with pants and he comes with the shirt as well. This is very similar to what we got with Nightcrawler. The material feels a little bit different, more rubbery. I really like the way this feels. They've chosen a really good material to use for this piece. And you can see it's got a bunch of different textures. The yellow is a different texture to the blue, and then these sections are different as well. It's got a zipper down the front, which you can use to put on the figure. However, we'll touch on this when the figure himself is out here. If you haven't already seen the unboxing, the outfit that comes on the figure is impossible to remove, which is a big pain because this piece right here I know is a selling point for a lot of people because they want to have them all in the nice matching outfits and without destroying that original outfit, I really don't think it's possible. Either way, he does come with a bunch of hands as well. He comes with two specifically made to be touching the visor to activate his optic blast. I would have really appreciated some energy effect pieces for the optic blast. We didn't get them unfortunately, but I would have really liked them, but the hands are done well enough. Either way, that's pretty much it for the accessories. What we're going to do now is get Cyclops himself out here and take a closer look. And here we have Cyclops himself looking absolutely fantastic. Now, there's no crazy posing or anything going on like that right here. This is just straight out of the box and placed in the light box. He looks really darn good. The outfit is absolutely fantastic. This is, in my opinion, the look they should have gone for for him in Dark Phoenix. We saw this in a scene right at the end of X-Men Apocalypse and it looks fantastic. Now I have seen a recent fan edit where they make the straps and the visor yellow and it just blew my mind. I can't unsee that. I wish they'd done that for the film, but alas, we never even truly got to see how awesome this version of Cyclops would be. Either way, what we're going to do now is punch in and take a closer look at the details. And here we have the head sculpt up close and personal and I think that looks fantastic. Since the unboxing, I did a bit of research. The character or the actor's name is Ty Sheridan who played Cyclops and this nails the look. He looks fantastic. This is a very, very impressive sculpt by Toy Zero. Now there is one complaint that I do have and it's the choice of the visor. I would have loved a swap out head sculpt with the visor that matches the look from Dark Phoenix. This is the look from the end of X-Men Apocalypse. I love it. It looks fantastic. Very retro, very 80s style. I think it looks fantastic. However, this isn't the one that we saw in Dark Phoenix and because we're getting that second outfit to swap onto him, I would have loved for them to include that. We didn't get it, too bad, but it would have been a nice throwing piece. Now, as you can see, there is a seam line down the side of the head sculpt. The instructions do say heat it up and the seam line will disappear as you push it into the sculpt. I don't think that's going to happen. It's too big of a gap, but you can always try. Now, as you can see, down the back, including a cat hair, is stitching. However, 
there does appear to be a zipper underneath. You can see the top of the zipper there, and if you do separate it, you can see a little bit of the zipper on the inside. I don't know if that means if you snip down this, you will be able to get access to that zipper and make it function. I don't know why they'd sew this if that was the case. You'd think they'd leave it open. However, as it stands, I don't think you can swap out the outfit on this guy without ruining what he's already wearing, and I wouldn't want to do that. This looks fantastic. This is my preferred look for Cyclops. This is absolutely classic, and I love it. Now, unfortunately, there is a little bit of scuffing on the armor on mine. It doesn't rub off. I thought it might. It doesn't, unfortunately. So do be careful with yours out of the box. Mine had a little bit of scuffing, but I think that's perfectly serviceable in terms of being able to fix that up just with a little bit of matte blue paint. Now, he does come with two hands to touch the visor, and I don't go through articulation in my videos. However, the previous Toy Zero Cyclops was not able to touch his visor. This guy right here, you can definitely do it. No problem. You can get his arm all the way up. Then, of course, when you snap and get the head actually to light up, I think the battery is dying on mine. There we go. It looks really really done good. This is a very, very impressive look for Cyclops, and I do appreciate the light-up function. I just would have really liked a secondary head sculpt with the more up-to-date Dark Phoenix visor. Panning the camera down to get a closer look at the rest of the outfit. As you can see, that same material carries on throughout. The amount of detail on this suit with all the different little sections stitched together is fantastic. I love the way it feels. It has a very rubbery style texture throughout. It feels like a piece that Hot Toys would have made. Of course, the armor pieces are a harder rubber. They are still a little bit flexible, so you get a little bit of movement out of them, just be careful that they don't attach. This one already on this side, you can see a little bit of the glue is visible on the outfit, so just be careful when you are articulating him. This is like any other rubber suit, it will crease, as you can see, over time if you do leave it in a dynamic pose, but I just love that texture, it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, as you can see, the boots have some really nice yellow straps and accents, and the best part about these is they're the split-cut design, and they are very sturdy as well. They move only very slightly, but it's enough to get a decent amount of ankle motion, and I really do like that they've done this. If this was one solid piece of plastic, you would have had a real tough time standing this guy. This definitely makes it a hell of a lot easier to get him standing up. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here is Scott Summers alongside Kurt. As you can see, there is a big height difference between the two. The actor who played Nightcrawler, I think was a little bit taller, so this works perfectly fine. And even if he wasn't, I like having some height differentiation on the shelf. It works so nicely having all these different sizes and scales of figures. It has some visual differentiation and some visual interest and that's the best part about looking at a shelf like this with Cyclops being these super vibrant colors he looks amazing and then having Nightcrawler be this blue dude with a tail and these really nice red white and blue suit they look so darn good on the shelf these two definitely captivate the eye and when we add even more to the shelf I think it's just going to get better and better. Just wrapping up on the Cyclops figure by Toys Era. This figure right here is an example of Toys Era at their finest. Now we have had a few examples of them at their worst looking at you Iceman but no seriously this guy is just that darn good. Bear in mind however the swap out outfit is pretty much impossible to put on this guy without some modifications. Whether or not you do want to pick this guy up for this look right here, which for me personally is the look I would have gone for anyway, you can go for it. However, if you are looking for the Dark Phoenix outfit, it might be worth picking up a second figure. And I know that's a bit of an ask because these aren't the cheapest figures in the world. However, to avoid risking damaging what you see right here, I would definitely pick up a second one if you want to have both looks on display. Either way, this guy is fantastic. Highly recommend picking him up, as well as the rest of the X-Men figures in this lineup. Toys Era has been blowing my mind with these figures, and I really do hope that Mystique figure that potentially could even be coming out this week is as good as this guy right here. And don't worry, right after we get Mystique, we should be getting that Toys Era comedian Joker figure, so I hope he does hit before the end of the year. Either way, if you do want to pick up either this guy right here, or the Nightcrawler, or even pre-order any of the other Toys, Toys Era X-Men figures, they're up right now on ToysWonderland.com and the 5% off store-wide Christmas sale is still ongoing. No coupons, discount codes, nothing like that required. It's already applied at checkout. Also, while you're down in the description, check out the link to Six Scale Network, the brand new awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection and participate in giveaways with the recent Mark 7 giveaway all tied up. We are looking to host another one very soon. Also check out the link to Justin and Steph, our brand new second channel for all of the renovation progress on Collection Room 3.0. Link is down there below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.